All right, just getting set up here. Welcome, Dave, ABQ, SC, and C. Just getting everything set here. We are going live here. 25 Perez, how you doing? All right, we're going to wait a little bit. Just want to chat with everybody. T-Unit, everybody's showing up. I'm loving it. So in uh, honor of our 1994 FLIR statistical standouts, we are doing 94 FLIR Ultra today. Welcome, Dave, ABQ, SC, and C. If the picture looks a little different, it's because I'm not allowed to use my phone yet. Uh, so this is my laptop we are on. Hopefully the picture's coming out good. Trying a different lighting system today. We're going to get started here in just a second. Getting set up still. Wanted to chat with everybody before we get going. It seems like most channels, they'll just go to the live and then just start heading straight to business. Uh, but uh, there's been a lot of news today. The, and the college football is going on. The whole Antonio Brown thing. Hi, Michaela. <laughs> and uh, it's just been weird. Um, now it's the rumors are going around that he purposely did all this stuff to possibly get out of being with the Raiders so that he could go to the Patriots. Um, I don't know if you guys have thoughts on this or anything, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's the rumor going around right now. So currently right now, I'm adding the names of the people that were uh, in the first drawing. As we go, we will, as I open packs, we will start eliminating names. The first one is the Arana Boys giveaway. There were four people that signed up for that one, followed his instructions. We want to thank the Arana Boys for helping us out. We probably would have got to 100, but it would not have happened as quickly as it did if it weren't for the Arana boys. So uh, right now we have uh, four people entered into that. Joe iPhone services. Joe iPhone. Uh, we also have Colorado card crew, Hess. There is It Cometh a Egg and Card Guy. So just putting in their names right now. Crazy stuff going on. Really? No, I have not seen that. That I'm going to have to check that out because that is crazy. Yeah, I saw the Dodgers are going live here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, the last time someone, yeah, Josh Gordon, man, he missed out. I'm pretty sure they still gave him a ring for last season, but he was all messed up. Okay, so we're going to be using my phone since we're using my laptop for the Wheel of Names. This is how it's going to look. Going to try to, I'm kind of blind here as we are not using a webcam yet. I have not been able to find a good one. So as we go. We're going to spin the wheel and eliminate people. It is not a first one wins. It is an elimination round with the last one going. Yeah, they went, what, 18-0 with Moss? So it wasn't all that bad. I mean, that one play just kind of ruined it for them. Yeah, I know the names aren't showing up that great. I'm sorry, guys. So, um, as we go, I will try to help you out. Like I said, uh, we're using my phone for this and I'm kind of blind. I'm trying to get a webcam so that it'll be a little better for everybody. But, uh, as of right now, we're going to be using my phone and, uh, we are opening up 1994 FLIR Ultra. We're going to get started here in just a few minutes. I'm going to show you what we got here. It is it looks like a Series 1 of 1994 
FLIR Ultra. Uh, main selling points for this one for FLIR in 94 was a Philly's Finest series with Darren Dalton and John Krug. I guess they thought they were going to be a lot bigger deal than what they were. 300 cards in this set. The cards that Trading Card Database says to look for are, if I can find where I put my notes here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr., Mike Piazza, Mark McGuire, Chipper Jones. There are other ones like uh, Griffey, Bagwell, Dave Winfield, Ryan Sandberg, and Roger Clemens. I will let you guys know this is the first break we've had that has actually sold out. Top left is going to go to C. Rogers. But C. Rogers also has the top right. He has been in most of our breaks. Great friend of the channel. Great guy. Um, can't thank him enough for what he's done for us. Uh, bottom left, C. Carpenter. I didn't want to put your first name. It'll probably show up in the chat if he shows up. But for right now, it'll be C. Carpenter. And the bottom right is going to Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles. These guys are the ones that uh, provided the Frank Thomas card that we are will be giving away today. I was looking up on eBay. This card selling for around $40. So it is a really decent card here. It looks great. Numbered 540 out of 994. His signature is really nice on this thing. And he put his number on there. So that is pretty sweet. From a 1994 Leaf statistical standouts. Once again, we want to thank everybody for showing up. We're going to get started here in just a minute. Since all the spots are taken. We're not going to mess around any. Normally, if uh, none of the spots are taken, I'll go with those first. But... Just want to remind everybody, the first giveaway is uh, everybody that commented that they got sent from the Spidey, from Spidey's Den. They are playing for either a Larry Fitzgerald 50th anniversary card, an Aaron Judge 2018 Tops Gold Cup card, or the Lance Stevenson. Sticker auto from NBA Hoops. That's what those guys are going for in this first drawing. I did change the second drawing just a little bit. Um, we're going to do top three only because um, if I do everybody, the shipping's going to cost me an arm and a leg. So first place, obviously, is going to win the Frank Thomas on-card auto, 540 out of 994. Second place will get their choice of any one of these cards, and third place will get their choice of whatever's left. We have a Kemba Walker. Donruss Parallel here. I wanted to keep the theme since we do uh, different things every week. A uh, Mason Rudolph Elite Series. Gold parallel and a silver parallel from Donruss Optic rated rookie card for Reese Hopkins. It is his uh, nickname card, which is a uh, Reese Lightning. So those are the three alternatives after the Frank Thomas. We will be doing top three. So two of those cards are going to be gone. Uh, those are cards that we pulled from recent breaks that did not have sponsors. So I, I don't keep these things. Um, I might, I might keep base cards, but the parallels, the inserts, they either uh, go on eBay, and then whatever doesn't sell gets cycled back to you guys. Um, I have had some people ask me, so I'm going to show you. Um, I did do an eBay for. A, B, Q, S, C, and C, but it only let me sell like five things a month. C Carpenter, there you are. I didn't want to. I, I I didn't know if you wanted me to show your first name, but I see it shows it in the chat, so I'm thinking it's okay. But so this is the eBay name that we use. It's probably not going to show because the lighting. 
Let's see if I can fix that here a little bit. Nope. All right, so that's horrible. Let's see if I can get it to show up just a little bit better here. Yeah, the phone's not going to work today. So it is a D C A D A V I C A S T A. That is the eBay username. Yeah, this phone thing's not gonna. You're just gonna have to trust me on this uh, on this thing. Um, it worked better when I was doing the video on my phone and using it on the laptop, but uh, the lighting from the screen on the laptop is throwing things off for the phone. So uh, we're gonna get started here. Top left and the top right are for C Rogers. Thank you everyone for showing up. Um, as we go through the packs, we're going to eliminate names. Uh, like I said, for right now, unless you can see it on the screen, you're probably going to have to trust me on this. I know that's that's tough, but um, if it were the other way around, I had the phone going, we would be able to show it on the computer like I did for the uh, 2006 FLIR basketball. But I wanted to go live for you guys because this is just awesome. That card is great. All right, 94 Fleer Ultra. Top left is going to see Rogers, so we're going to pull these packs out first. Here is what the pack looks like. Series 1, 1994 Fleer Ultra. 14 baseball cards in each pack. Top left, we're going first. See Rogers, these are for you, buddy. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Got the foil packs. Yeah, please, no bricks. We did get this box from Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles, so I'm hoping this thing's going to be pretty awesome. They are just a little bit, but it's not too bad. First card, I don't know if this is a sign to things to come. First card is the 299 card, which is the checklist. Looks like we got Roger Clemens coming up next. This might be the the longest video ever if this is going to be. I'm going to try Roger Clemens. That came out pretty good. That is one of the ones that uh, not exactly one of the ones, but it is one of the ones that we're looking for. Ripken, Chipper Jones, Mark McGuire, and Mike Piazza. Those are the cards that Trading Card Database said were the best to look for in this set. The other ones were just as good. All right, yeah, so they are a little bit. Going to try and do my best with it. Tony Phillips, second baseman. We got an award winners. Looks like Jay Buhner on the front of that. Oh, no, Omar Risco, my bad. 5 of 25, top glove, American League. Luis Aquino, there's a lot of college football going on. I know Michigan State was playing. A lot of others. We'll see how I did, because I did make a couple bets. We do have a sports book in our casino. Danny Darwin. These are coming apart pretty darn good. Xavier Hernandez. J.T. Snow, Angels, Giants, Jose Offerman. We pulled his uh, Triple A card from our Hot Box Cards box. Mark Newfield, Steve Reed, got uh, Kevin Roberson rookie card, Chicago Cubs. LSU and Texas. Very nice. Chris Haney. I grew up the... Um, so my house was divided when I was growing up. My my old man liked uh, USC and my, and my mother liked UCLA. So it was definitely interesting. Last two cards, Bob McDonald and Luis Aquino. It was definitely interesting on Saturdays during college football season. Now, that was back during the Rodney Pete, Troy Aikman days. Remember Rodney Pete going to the Lions? That's probably another reason why I was a fan of the Lions, just because got to watch Rodney Pete play in college. 
Oh, after uh, pack number one, before we open that up, we're going to do the first name. So we'll see how it shows up here. Probably not going to show up that great. We're going to spin. Four guys going. Yeah, that's not showing up at all. So first one eliminated is it cometh a egg. And uh, of course, his video popped up that he is doing. So going to clear that. So we're going to remove him. It cometh an egg. Leaving three guys, card guy, Colorado card crew, and Joe iPhone left. So those are the guys that are going to, we're doing a one spot. So after this pack, we'll be doing it. Another one. First one up is award winners. Looks like we got Ken Griffey Jr. on the front of that one. Top gloves, 625. Next is Mike Harkey. Yeah, these aren't too bad. They're coming out great. Cards aren't getting messed up. Bobby Munoz. Paul Wagner. Griffey cards are always awesome. Okay, so people, somebody was asking about that one of three card. Um, nobody really emailed, so I will let you guys know that um, he was asking for our channel price, $800 for that one of three, um, and that was our channel price. So I'm sure at the store he was asking a lot more, but that one of three, Ken Griffey Jr. with that awesome signature and the dual patches, $800, folks. All right, Kurt Abbott, rookie card, and Cal Ripken Jr. There's Cal Ripken Jr. I got sleeves ready, so we're going to sleeve up Cal Ripken Jr. for C. Rogers. I thought I had sleeves ready. Where'd you go, sleeves? All right, so we're going to set him aside for now because the sleeves disappeared. I am okay. I'm looking for the, the sleeves, though, buddy. Oh. Oh, there they are. Okay, found them. Oh. All right, just going to sleeve Cal Ripken up for him. That was one of the cards that Trading Card Database said to look for. It was a little more than the other ones. Just to show you, once I get it sleeved up, we'll show the back of the card. It has three photos. Everything's gold-plated here. And uh, last year's stats, a little different than Tops or anybody else. Not the full stat line. We're going to put the hits that get pulled right there. He does have the top left and the top right for C. Rogers. So he's going to have a nice little stat going. Kevin Mitchell is the next card. Darren Fletcher. Yeah, Antonio Brown, man. I don't know. He probably was playing them to try to get, because I, I heard he had wanted to go to the Patriots in the beginning, but he ended up getting traded to the Raiders. Doug Henry. So we'll see if he was playing them to get to the Patriots in the first place anyway. It could be why they got rid of Demarius Randall. Tom Glavin. My buddy went to go as a huge Braves fan. And uh, I don't I've told this story before, but uh, he was standing in line, and uh, he was the last one before getting to Tom Glavin. He had drove like six hours just to try to get it, and uh, unfortunately, Tom stopped at him and would not give another autograph. John Allerud, Ben Rivera. So I've never been to any of those, so I would not know how that works. Um, I know at some point they have to stop, though. They can't just keep going and going and going. Melito Perez with, uh, looks like Steve Cook on the back of this one. Yep, Steve Cook on the back with Melito Perez, New York Yankees. 25 Perez, we're getting some Yankees out here for you. We are at the end of that pack, so we are going to go to the next name.
Next one on the wheel of names. I'm just going to show it just in case it happens to show for you guys. We got three names left. Spinning the wheel. Joe iPhone, Colorado Card Crew, and Card Guy. Next one out is... Card guy. Card guy is the next one out. We're going to remove him. So Joe iPhone and Colorado Card Crew Hess are next. Now we're doing the first one that was for um, for the Arana boys. The Arana boys. Shouted us out in one of their videos. Told people to tell them that Spidey sent them. And uh, he was doing a giveaway for people doing that. And I am doing one for them as well before we do the one for the Frank Thomas. Albert Bell, next pack, next card. Pedro Astacio. So after we get through this one, we will start on the uh, on the Frank Thomas giveaway. Mo Vaughn used to love watching Mo Vaughn, his short, compact, powerful swing. Figure there's 36 packs, so should be enough to do like one, one name per pack after we get done with it. I was hoping it would go a little faster, but these things are, like you said, a little bricked up, but they are coming off really nice. Greg Jeffries, his rookie card was one to get at first, and uh. He just kind of fizzled out, was never as great as people thought he was going to be. Roger Pavlik, Kent Boddenfield, Colorado Rockies, Lou Whitaker, Chris Gwynn, brother to Tony Gwynn, Dave Berba, Paul O'Neill. Broadcasting now, I believe. Wayne Kirby, rookie card, Cleveland Indians. Ooh, the Major League Cleveland Indian uniforms. Mike Piazza, there's one of the other ones. Going to be using all my penny sleeves today. Mike Piazza was one of the other ones we were looking for. One of the best hitting catchers of all time. And what great godson to Tommy Lasorda. I think that's what, what he is to him. Great grandnephew, something crazy like that. All right, sleeping up Mike Piazza. So we found Ripken. We found Piazza. We are still looking for Maguire and Chipper Jones. Got a couple cards left here before we find out who. Andre Dawson, Boston Days, used to have his rookie card at one point as well. And Jeff Conine. Second year card for Jeff Conine. So we're going to move these packs back just a little bit as they are starting to stack up just a little bit. We are going to go on to the next name. So I'm going to turn this off real quick just to see if it will help. I'm going to turn the light off while we're doing this. That is not helping at all. I think that made it worse. Just pulling on it, please. You're going to undo it. Yeah, that's not helping at all. All right, so we got Joe iPhone and Colorado Card Crew. Yeah, it, it, it definitely made it worse. I'm going to try to move the phone just a little bit to see if that will help it at all. Maybe my brightness is on too much. Let's put this down. Add, boom. I don't know if that's going to help at all. Let's see. Maybe a little bit. All right. So blue is Joe iPhone. And red is Colorado Card Crew. Whoever comes up is going to be out. Joe iPhone is out. So Colorado Card Crew Hess is the one who is going to have their choice of either the Lance Stevenson Sticker Auto, the Judge 2018 Gold Cup card, or the Larry Fitzgerald 50th Anniversary card. Let me know. Email me, abqscandc at gmail.com. Let me know which card you want and where to send it to, and we will ship that out to you. 
Thank you for coming from the Spidey's Den. We really appreciate you guys being here. Um, we hope that we can keep you entertained and um, get you guys great stuff. All right. So after this pack, I'm going to start putting in names for the next one. There are a total of 13 names for this next giveaway. So let me flip to the page here and we will tell you who is in. All right. Two birds, one stone, right? All right. Johnny Walchek, Puig Fan, FT Hama, Troutman, 41384, 25 Perez, T Unit, Arana Boys, C Rogers. Looks like we got a Jose Lean on the back of this one. Jose Lean, one of his cards were just going for crazy amounts of money on eBay. Uh, C. Rogers card guy is back in on this one. So hopefully he has a little better luck this time. Yeah, 13. You were the 13th. I know you had some uh, internet issues. So I put you in even before you asked. Um, card guy, Tykel Wilson, C. Elliott, Andy N., and Clint Carpenter. Those are the 13 names. Jeff Blauser. Once we get done with this pack, I'm going to take a few minutes just to put everybody's names in. And then uh, after that, we will go pack by pack. Pete and Clavelia, um, eliminating names until we get to the last one. Top three are going to win something. So good luck to everyone. Oh, we're buffering. Sandy Alomar Jr., my internet is not the greatest, so I apologize for any buffering going on. If we do go out, I am still going to continue. We are just going to be catching you on the replay. So if it goes out, I am going to apologize ahead of time to each and every one of you. Darren Lewis. Angel Miranda, rookie card. Got a Kenny Lofton on the back. Looks like one of those subset cards. Kenny Lofton, award winners. Great, great leadoff guy. Greg McMichael is the last one reliever for the Braves. All right, going to start punching in names here. Give me just a sec as I put in a few names here. We're going to do Johnny. Wall check. Pui fan. FT Hama. Troutman. Four thirteen eighty four. Twenty five Perez. These are in no particular order. They're just how I wrote them down as they were coming in. T unit. What I'm going to do is once I get all the names in, I'm going to shuffle it three times to try to make it fair. And then uh, after that pack, we are going to see Rogers, card guy, Tykel Wilson, C. Elliott, Andy N., and last but not least, Clint Carpenter. All right, let's bring this back up. We got all the names in there. Cancel. Stop it, man. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're bringing the wheel up. Those are all the names. There they are. We got a shuffle button here. We're going to do it three times. One, two, three. There we go. Shuffle three times. And we're going to go to the next pack. And then after that pack, we're going to start eliminating names. We are still on the top left for C. Rogers.
Uh, if I could get these packs open. Let's see if the other side's any better. There we go. All right, so tomorrow is 92 Flair Ultra. Next week, we are back to football with a 1991 Series 1 Pro set. That's probably my favorite football set of all time. We got a league leaders, Lenny Dykstra. The Phillies grounds crew used to hate this guy as they would have to clean up all the, the chew that he would spit out there after each game. Rookie card, Miguel Jimenez. Oakland Athletics. Ben McDonald, another one whose rookie card was huge there for a while, and then he just kind of did what he did, had some dirt on his butt, and was just not as great as everybody thought he was. Willie Green. Marquise Grissom, he bounced around with a few teams, including the Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, we're going top three. We'll see how it goes, man. Top three are getting to pick a card. Cal Eldred. So there are 13. So you figure out what the odds are on that of your chances. There are 112 subscribers right now. We got all the way up to 117. Dwayne Ward on the next card. And then it dropped down to at least 110, I think. Tommy Green. And then we are back at 112, I believe, is what we are right now. Danny Tartable, New York Yankees. So it's just the the algorithm balancing itself out. Jeff King, I used to like watching him play for some reason. Pittsburgh Pirates, back in the 90s, Pirate days. Larry Lubbers, rookie card, on the back. Let's see what we got here. We got Alan Mills. I remember Alan Mills. Alan Mills was great with the Orioles there. Scott Lighty, rookie card for the A's again. And there's the Jeff King. All right, so that's that pack. C. Rogers has four packs left on the top left. But we are getting to the next name. First name that's going to be eliminated for the Frank Thomas. We got all the names there. We shuffled them three times. Here we go. Spinning the wheel. First one eliminated is... Oh, Tykel Wilson. It looked like it was going to be FT Hama, but it go, went to Tykel Wilson. Tykel Wilson is the first one out. Sorry, Tykel Wilson. Thank you for being... An, on the channel, subscribing. And the uh, other 12 of you can breathe a sigh of relief. Well, thank you, Clint. This is stuff I was doing, so um, sharing it with you guys just makes it even better for me. Um, like I said, I don't really keep a lot of this stuff. I might, I grew up in the area, in the era where, um, it was all about completing the sets and doing all that stuff. So the parallels and all that other stuff was just not like they were cool. They were awesome, but it just wasn't my thing. So if, if I can get you guys that stuff, um, I'm cool with that. Award winners. Looks like Devon White for the Blue Jays. Rondell White. I always remember liking watching Rondell White also. John Roper. Cincinnati Reds. C. Elliott would like that card. He is a Reds fan. Bobby Witt. Danny Maselli, rookie card for the Pirates. Brett Butler. I remember one year uh, they got they let us go on the field to, for pitcher day. We got to meet Brett Butler. I don't know how he was to everybody else, but he was awesome to me. Very cool guy. Next card. Bob Tewksbury, pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. Dean Palmer and Bruce Ruffin. Cecil Fielder. Remember telling you guys I 
Used to love collecting Ripken and Cecil Fielder cards. The 86 Donruss card for Fielder, I think, was 10-year-old me's best card. Phil Hyatt, I think uh, it was one of the 80s, early 80s Cal Ripken ones. I think it was 81 or 82, one of the first Fleer ones. Mike Jackson was the prize Ripken card. Wade Boggs and Paul Sorrento. Wade Boggs was with the Yankees at this point after being with the, the Red Sox. And we are going to be on to the next name after that pack. We've already eliminated one. That was Tykel Wilson. First name eliminated for the Frank Thomas card. We are on to the next one. Spinning the Wheel of Names. Next one eliminated. Looks like it is... Troutman, 41384. Sorry, Troutman. You are the next person eliminated. So we're going to remove you. And that leaves us 11 names. That leaves 11 names of people that are still in the running for that Frank Thomas. This seemed the most, um, I guess, democratic way to do it. Like, so there were no questions. The Wheel of Names is uh, all hail the Wheel of Names, I guess, you know, because it's about as random as you can get. Enter the name, shuffle it a few times, and see what comes out. Next pack, Pat Hankin. Danny Jackson. I was never a big Fleer fan, but these three pitchers in the back are just doing it for me for this set. It's different. It, it takes away from some of the stats, but it gives you extra pictures of if it were your favorite player. Mike Bordick. I love the old Cleveland uniforms. It just reminds me of that movie. Tom Kramer. Just reminds me. Rookie card Tom Kramer. Just reminds me of Major League. Joe Oliver. That growing up was probably my favorite baseball movie. Um, Necessary Roughness growing up was probably. Um, you didn't get eliminated yet, Clint. I can tell you that. You're still in it. Brad Pennington. Uh, Necessary Roughness was probably growing up my favorite football movie. I was just a huge Scott Bakula fan. Matt Williams, great third baseman for the Giants. Mine and my wife's phone has been going crazy today with all the ESPN alerts for Antonio Brown. Darren Dalton, for some reason, they did a Philly subset. Darren Dalton and One Ball Cruck were the huge highlights for them in this. Jim Tomey, there's Jim Tomey. We pulled a Jim Tomey relic out of our 2006 Fleer Baseball. Craig Paquette, rookie card. He was a good journeyman, bounced around for a few teams. Devon White, and I think I dropped one here. Devon White and Ricky Jordan. Steve Avery, another one of those guys that was fourth or fifth for the Braves all those years. Juan Bell is our last card for that pack. Two packs left for C. Rogers. But that doesn't matter because we are pulling another name here. Wheel of names time, folks. Ten names left, I believe, if I have my math right. I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven names, maybe? Yeah, eleven names. All right. Spinning the wheel. Who's going to be eliminated next? Oh, Clint. Oh, Clint. It's coming to you, Clint. Arana boys. Sorry, Arana boys. Arana boys, you are the next one eliminated. I greatly appreciate you shouting us out, getting us out to all these guys. But unfortunately, you are the next name that is eliminated. Two packs left for the top left for C. Rogers. Let's see what we got here. 
like I said, 92 Clear Ultra is tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing that a little earlier than we did today. I have commitments in the evening, so we'll be doing that probably around noon Mountain Time. Award winners, Mark Langston with the Angels. Moises Alou, never wore any batting gloves. I always thought that was the most insane thing ever. I played Little League. We got to our city championships. That was about as good as I did. And could not even fathom not wearing gloves while batting. Troy O'Leary, rookie card with the Milwaukee Brewers. There's Chipper, Chipper Jones, rookie card for C. Rogers. So we're finding everybody in this top left stack. Hopefully that means there will be more for you guys. But look at this Chipper Jones card. This picture is pretty nice. Curtis Elliott is in the house. C. Elliott, how are you, sir? You are still in the running for the Frank Thomas. Good to see you. Just grabbing a sleeve for this Chipper Jones for C. Rogers here. Chipper Jones rookie card. I really like the picture on this one. Going to put Chipper in the back here. And we got Mark Wallers, Paul Molitor, 3000 Hit Club, Terry Mulholland. We got one in the back that just does not want to stay. So Daryl Hamilton, he was like, pick me, pick me. Mike Stanley. Jay Bell. He was pretty good there for a while. I know rumors were always going around that he was going to be traded to the Dodgers, but it never happened. Brent Gates, rookie card, Oakland Athletics. Jim Poole. Johnny Ruffin, rookie card. C. Elliott, Cincinnati Reds. And Sean Barry. One pack left for C. Rogers on the top left. He does have the top right. So we're not completely done with C. Rogers yet. Here we go. Next one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten names left on the wheel of names. Here we go. Spinning the wheel. Eliminating people as we go. It's on C. Elliott, but it went to Puig Fan. Puig Fan is the next one out. Sorry, Puig Fan. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here with us. But unfortunately, your name was the next one eliminated. Down to nine. It's Magnificent Seven. Don't know what nine is. Auspicious Nine? I don't know. So they came out with the remake of Ocean's Eleven, but the first one was really good with the Rat Pack. I used to love that movie, and then I heard they were doing the remake. It ended up being okay, but the original is just like the best for me. Sinatra and all those guys. Kirk McCaskill. John Smoltz. Analyst for MLB Network. Looking like he was in his commercial with Muncie. Jose, welcome. Dave Nielsen. Kim Batiste. Pat Borders, catcher for the Toronto Blue Jays. Got a couple on the bottom here that are just peeking through. Ron Karkovic. Jack Voigt. And a Rod Beck card. Everybody was loving Rod Beck back in the early 90s. It is an ultra fireman card of Rod Beck. All right, next one. Al Leiter. Al Leiter has a uh, error card in one of the sets for tops. Kevin Young. 
Troy Neal, Roberto Kelly. Remember liking Roberto Kelly for some reason. And John Wetland, longtime closer. He was pretty good. Going to move this stack over real quick before we get to the next name, just so I remember that it is for C. Rogers. So give me one sec here as we go through. Just going to make sure that these get put somewhere where I can remember that they go to C. Rogers along with Chipper Jones, Mike Piazza, and Cal Ripken Jr. Three of the, I believe, five cards that I said we would be hunting for in this set, according to Trading Card Database. The next stack will be the top right, and that will be for C. Rogers as well. C. Rogers was the first one to ever get into one of our breaks. Uh, great friend of the channel. I uh, probably mentioned this quite a few times, but he gave us that Sean Evans mini card autographed in the back. And what you're all waiting for is the next name going through. Let's see what we got here. Spinning the wheel of names. Next name eliminated is, oh, it was almost C. Rogers. Andy N. I'm sorry, brother. Andy N. You are the next name eliminated. Very sorry. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting. Sorry. You are the next name eliminated, though. Next stack, C. Rogers. The top right of this box. Getting closer, folks. Once again, this card was uh, donated by Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles here in Albuquerque. Um, I talked to Jordan today, and uh, he does not have an eBay store and no website. So we're going to try to remedy that and uh, help him out. Hopefully, he will agree to let us help him. Jim Leyritz. Jim Leyritz, Wally Whitehurst. Yeah, this is our first ever box that has been completely sold out. So normally we do stacks because um, it's just the one box. Once we start getting breaks that have people buying in all the time, we will start doing multiple boxes, uh, possibly teams or even divisions. Rick Wilkins, we'll see how it shapes up and how it goes. Right now, this is just the first ever one where we've actually sold the entire box. Normally there's a couple stacks that are not taken. Um, sometimes these aren't the most popular cards, but they're fun to me as they are early to mid nineties. That's where I grew up collecting. So just getting the memories back for me is just awesome enough. Dwight Gooden, sometimes it's not as appealing to people, but uh, for me, just seeing these cards again and going through them. Doug Jones. Like the 87 tops. That one was fun. The first time around, we pulled a couple berries. Uh, second time around, we got a couple Barry Larkins and Bo Jacksons. St Scott Kamenicki, New York Yankees. We'll be doing that again next month. Uh, for everybody who's new to the channel, we are a little different than everybody else. The first week of the month, which is what we are in right now. We are a baseball channel rookie card for Tim Mauser, San Diego Padres. Second week of the month, we are a football channel. Chuck Knobloch, Minnesota Twins, for he went to the Yankees. Third week of the month, we are a basketball channel. And last week of the month, we do a mix of a little bit of everything. Hockey, WWE, uh, we've opened mystery boxes, do award winners, Yvonne Rodriguez. Texas Rangers, uh, Antique Malls, uh, Flea Market Finds. We started a series the last week of the month that's called uh, Did Dave Get a Good Deal or Did He Get Swindled? All right, next, that pack is done, so we're going to the next name. 
two, four, six, eight names left. Hopefully, if you are here, you are one of those names that are remaining. Spinning the wheel of names. Next name up. Oh, Clint. Oh, I passed you up, Clint. All right. Card guy, very sorry. You are the next one that got eliminated. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Hopefully, we will continue to keep you entertained and get you good stuff. But you are the next name that has been eliminated, Card Guy. Card Guy was in both the earlier giveaway and this giveaway. And unfortunately, he was out. So we got seven names remaining. We are still in the top right for C. Rogers. C. Rogers, Michigan State fan, Detroit Tiger fan, Detroit Piston. Jason Bure, Chicago White Sox, is next card in the next pack. Scott Cervais. We got a Mike Morgan rounding out his career. And Kenny Rogers, longtime pitcher, Texas Rangers. No one when to hold him. No one when to hold him. Big Cat, Andres Galarraga got his league leader card, NL batting average leader. Barry Bonds, folks. There's a Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds card, very awesome. Before he was all jacked. Look at this. He was starting to get there, but not how he was at the end of his career. Uh, left in the giveaway is Clint Carpenter, F.T. Hama, 25 Perez, C. Elliott, Johnny Walchek, you are still there, T. Unit, and C. Rogers. Yeah, um, I have to use my laptop for now. I know the screen's not as great as it is when I use my phone. I have not found a decent webcam yet in order to have a better quality picture. We're hoping to do that here shortly. Rookie card, Richard Bachelor. That's why uh, the live streams are a little different quality, if you've noticed when you've been watching, just because I have to use my laptop for that. Um, YouTube, no, the giveaways, um, there was a deadline. It was uh, right before the live stream started. So you would have had to have said you wanted Frank Thomas before then. Jeff Gardner, rookie card. Yeah, so the, the ones where I do them on my phone are a lot better quality pitcher. Yvonne Rodriguez, Texas Rangers. Eric Anthony. And the back of this one is Alex Fernandez. All right. Moving along with the Wheel of Names. We are still in the top right for C. Rogers. We found Chipper. We found Piazza. We found Ripken. We are still looking for Mark McGuire. Seven names left. So once again, I apologize as uh, when I had the phone and I was looking at the, the laptop, the names were coming out a lot clearer. This way around, unfortunately, is not as good. And it stopped on F.T. Hama. Unfortunately, you are the next one eliminated. F.T. Hama, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. We are down to two, four, six names. Clint Carpenter, 25 Perez, C. Elliott, Johnny Walchek, T. Unit, and C. Rogers are the ones that are remaining. So the trick with my videos, and it's not really a trick. It's just me appreciating everybody watching. Um, YouTube tells me the average time that people watch. And most times at the end of the videos is when I will announce giveaways and stuff like that. Just because I appreciate everyone that has watched longer than most people do. It's not all the time. It's not every video. Dave Stewart, he was great, man. Great pitcher. I mentioned this before. Softest voice ever. If you listen to him talk, you would not think that that was the same guy that was pitching that game. Bob Natal, rookie card. Bob Welch. 
Ken Griffey Jr. We found a junior card. Look at this card. Very awesome. Ken Griffey Jr. It's not one of the, the cards, but I'm sleeving this bad boy up anyway, just because I love Junior. Had one of the sweetest swings in baseball. Just so fluid and looked like it was effortless for him to hit the ball as far as he did. Griffey Jr., Phil Leftwich, rookie card, Todd Hundley, another former Dodger, Chuck Carr with the Marlins, Greg Hibbard, Pat Mears. This set reminds me of the stadium club nowadays. The stadium club nowadays pitchers are so great and so clear. Luis Gonzalez, before he was highly overpaid, before his World Series winning hit. Scott Sanders. Brett Barbary. The Marlins uniforms, man, they were so colorful. Just looks so clean. Mike Blowers. And award winners, Donnie Baseball. Award winner card, top glove American League. Very awesome. Donnie Baseball got stuck on some horrible teams. And unfortunately, was out bef like the year before they started winning. So... I doubt it was because he wasn't on the team anymore, but um, just a bad, bad run for him. All right, six names left. We are spinning the wheel of names one more time to get to the top five. And next name eliminated is C. Rogers. C. Rogers, very sorry, brother. You are the next name eliminated. You know I appreciate you being here. We are down to five names. Top five, Clint Carpenter. 25 Perez, C. Elliott, Johnny Walchek, and T. Unit. Top three will win something. In case you missed it and you showed up a little late, let me go over what we're doing again. I changed it just a little bit, only to keep it in line with what we do. It is a Mason Rudolph gold parallel Donruss. You get your choice after the Frank Thomas Kemba Walker Donruss basketball parallel and a silver parallel Reese Lightning rated rookie card with his nickname Reese Lightning. So second place will get the first choice of card and third place will get the second choice of which card they want. We will be doing top three. Ah, uh, Clint, sorry, man. Still in it, though. The race has been going. We might still be going by the time you get back. Jose Vizcaino. These cards are technically sticking together, but they're coming apart really, really well. Brian Jordan, one of those two-sport guys, along with Dion and Bo Jackson. Not as well known. He was with the Falcons as well as Dion and Bo, but he was the two-sport guy as well. Rich Amaral. Frank Seminara. Got a Rockies card coming up. Gerald Clark. Yeah, 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 that is correct. C. Elliott. Dave Fleming. Dodgers Todd Worrell. Closer for them. Chris Turner, rookie card with the Angels, California Angels at that time. One more checklist. This is the Rockies pack. We got another Rockies card coming up. Eric Young with the Rockies after he left the Dodgers. So the good news is, is we haven't had many doubles. Richie Lewis. 
the bad news for later guys is that we haven't had any doubles and we found three out of the four five cards that we were really looking for detroit tigers c rogers will like this one chris gomez rookie card mike trombley minnesota twins a steve bouchelle is the next card With the Darren Dalton. So that's the second time we've seen the Darren Dalton one. They did a subset of Phillies. Darren Dalton and John Cruck were the highlights of that. We are on to the next name as we are done with that pack. Five names left. Clint Carpenter, 25 Perez, C. Elliott, Johnny Walchek, and T. Unit. Spinning the wheel. Getting down to the final four. And it stops on T unit. T unit, sorry, brother. You are the next one eliminated. We are down to the final four. After this one, somebody's definitely going to win something. So after this next elimination, somebody's definitely going to win at least something. We started with 13. We are down to four. Final four are Clint Carpenter, 25 Perez, C. Elliott, and Johnny Walchek. Good luck to all of you. I appreciate all of you being here. There are many, many other choices and many other channels out here. You guys have chosen to spend time with me, and uh, that is greatly appreciated. You guys are... Uh, more than just channel guys, you guys are like family to me now. Clear Ultra, looks like Roberto Alomar. Top glove, American League. I am bouncing you guys all over the place. Going to try to straighten you out just a little here. Roberto Alomar, another one of the guys that I really like playing. This is looks like our first double, Phil Clark. So that holds good news for the guys on the bottom. Tim Bogar, rookie card. At least that's the first double I've seen. I don't know if you guys have noticed them or not. Mike Perez, St. Louis Cardinals. Eddie Guardado, rookie card. Jose Mesa. Mark Carrion. Jose Bautista. Not to be confused with. The other Bautista, David Holsey. I still think they should have a card of him getting punched. I I like Bautista, and I still want to see a card of him getting punched. Daryl Kyle, another one that was taken from us way too early before his time. Wilson Alvarez again. So, yeah, we're starting to see some cards again. There were only 300 cards in Series 1. 300 base cards plus whatever or um, subsets they had brad osmus so hopefully we will see there are 360 more than 360 cards because each pack has 14 cards and there are 36 packs ryan thompson and jose akendo t unit anytime man we try to give stuff away quite a bit um you are still in clint you are part of the final four. If you make it past this round, you're definitely getting something. So, guys, uh, yeah, definitely spinning the wheel of names here. Top four. Definitely check out the entire video as most times we are giving away something at the end of it. 25 Perez is the next one eliminated. 25 Perez, I am very sorry. Thank you for being here with us. Hopefully we will pull some good Yankee stuff for you. Now that I know that you are a Yankees fan as well, we will be looking for stuff for you. If you have uh, favorite players, let me know. That way uh, I can keep an eye out for them. Last three standing, Clint Carpenter, C. Elliott, and Johnny Walchek. Top three are definitely getting something. Of course, grand prize is the Frank Thomas card. But uh, second place gets their first choice of those three cards that I've shown. And third place gets the remainder choice of the other two cards. 
We are still going in the top right for C. Rogers here. Tino Martinez is the first card up in this pack. Tino Martinez still with the Mariners at this point. Mike Butcher. Joe Orsalak. Orestes Destrada. I don't know why that name is very familiar to me. I'm sure I've heard it quite a bit, but. Larry Kazian, Andrew Har Cedeno, a promising young player, and it just never really got anything going. Tony Gwynn, the spray hitter, the man, Tony Gwynn. I hated when the Dodgers would play this guy. He would just hit it all over the place against us. Great, great player. Tony Gwynn was a, really a base stealer also in the beginning of his career. Aaron Seeley, but yeah, one of the best, I would say best spray hitters arguably of all time. Eric Pappas, Ted Williams, another great one. Kevin Brown, Armando Reynoso rookie card. Donnie Baseball, man. Yeah, and I, I, I feel really bad for him. Like, he was uh, he was on those teams, and they, they, they just couldn't get anything going for him. Randy Myers, Chicago Cubs. Glaber's great. He's having a great year. Miguel Andujar, he's doing all right. All right, yeah, we will definitely keep an eye out for those guys. I got a couple of Glaber cards I might be able to, to send out here. I'll let you know. All right, we are down to three. Clint Carpenter, C. Elliott, Johnny Walchek. These, one of these guys is definitely taking home something. And uh, we are still looking for top, so we're going top two. Here we go. Red is C. Elliott. Yellow is Johnny Walchek. Blue is Clint Carpenter. Oh, Clint, it almost got to you, brother. It was getting there. Johnny Walchek, you came in third place. I'm just going to write that down real quick so I remember for myself. Johnny Walchek, third place. So uh, I will let you know what is left after the second place person Picks their card. We are down to two. Clint Carpenter and C. Elliott. Good luck, fellas. I'm a fan of both of you. So I I have no favorites here right now because you guys are both awesome to me. One hundred subscriber giveaway card was donated by Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles here in Albuquerque. Jordan there, gracious enough to let us do our pack roulette series. We got a home run king subset card. Ken Griffey Jr. on the front. This card is looking pretty awesome. I'm liking that. That is very awesome. Card two at 12 in the home run king subset. Next is Eduardo Perez, his rookie card. Omar Dahl, rookie card. Was never a fan of Omar Dahl. Get out of here with you. Jay Buhner. I don't know if you caught the. The Seattle, it's not a 30 for 30, but it was a documentary on them. Willie Blair. All right, folks, who are we picking here? Who, who do we think is going to get it? C. Elliott or Clint Carpenter? We got another checklist. Mike McFarland. Yeah, that, that Griffey card was nice. If you did not check, Pack roulette this week. We didn't get any hits, but Jordan did have a one of three Ken Griffey Jr. card. Dual, it was like a big thing. It was like dual patch relic and a, a crystal clear autograph of Ken Griffey Jr. It was a one of three. Um, Arana Boys was asking the price. I said it earlier, but I'll, I'll tell you again. And I believe it was just our price for the channel. $800 for that card. So if you have not seen that video, check it out. Check out that card. That card, it, it, it was more than a card. It was like a whole block of like patches and um, autographs. It was very awesome. Greg Harris, Will Cordero. And I'm sure like that's just our channel price. I'm sure it was way more than that. Just walking in the store. So Ken Patterson. 
Raul Mondesi, we pulled a relic of his the other day, a diamond relic. Omar Vizquel and Joe Girardi. All right, folks, here we go. We are down to the final two. C. Elliott and Clint Carpenter. Clint Carpenter is our bottom left stack owner here. Just to give you some reference here in case you can see, Clint Carpenter is blue and C. Elliott is red. So whichever one it lands on is the one that is eliminated and the other one will be the winner. Good luck, gentlemen, to both of you. Like I said, I have no favorites here. Um, second place will get their first choice of one of the other cards. And first place will get that Frank Thomas. Here we go. Spinning the wheel. Blue is Clint. Red is C. Elliott. It lands on blue. Clint Carpenter, you are in second place, which means that C. Elliott is the winner of the Frank Thomas signed card. Congratulations to C. Elliott. Let's show this card off one more time. Frank Thomas, 540 out of 994. On card autograph, statistical standouts from Leaf, 1994. Generously donated by Jordan at Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles. Once again, we want to thank Jordan. I'm just going to write down who got second place real quick. Clint Carpenter. I'm going to show the cards one more time just so you can see and make your pick. You don't have to tell me now. You can tell me later. Uh, where did I put them here? Here they are. So. It's your choice of a Kemba Walker Donruss basketball parallel. The gold. Parallel of uh, the Elite Series rookies, Mason Rudolph. And Reese Lightning, rated rookie, silver parallel for Donruss Optic. Your choice, sir. Whichever one you would like. You don't have to let me know right away. You can email me. I will send that out with your break. And congratulations to C. Elliott on winning the Frank Thomas I will. I will tell him. Congratulations, sir. You have been a great friend of the channel, watching us all the time, commenting, um, just being awesome. Um, I know we lost track of you for about a week there, but I'm glad that you're okay. I was really worried about you. Hadn't heard from you in a while. So I'm glad that you are doing okay over there. We are down to two packs for C. Rogers, Royce Clayton. Eric Plunk, Kent Herbeck, we got one in the back that just wants to be shown, award winners, Robin Ventura, another one that got punched in the face, that one was by Nolan Ryan, that'd be an awesome card too, Scott Erickson, oh, if they did a relic for the jerseys for, for, for that game, I'm sure Cooperstown is not going to cut up the jerseys, but that would still be awesome. Bill Wirtz, Kurt Manwaring, Chuck McElroy, Juan Gone. Like I said, uh, the batting cages in Las Vegas had Juan Gone in the back. He really pumped up as well. Um, yeah, the batting cages used to, used to go there probably about once every other week when I was living out there just to pretend like I could still hit a ball. There he is, Frank Thomas. Same swing, same everything. Look at that. All right, Frank Thomas. Very awesome. Andy Ashby. Jeff Kent, his Met days. And last but not least, let's see if we can get this off. Mark Witten, another one of the four home runs in, in a game club. Oh, Clint, are you serious or are you messing with me right now? All right, so it came down to you and C. Elliott for the finals. You came in second. I am very sorry. Um, you get your first choice of one of the other cards that we had. Oh, man. It came down to you and C. Elliott, and 
unfortunately, um, well, good for C. Elliott, but bad news for you. You were second place. Greg Gagne, last pack for C. Rogers here. Billy Swift. I'm telling you, these are some nice looking cards. They are coming up off pretty well. None of these cards are getting damaged. Kenny Lofton. Jim Gott, Billy Hatcher, Renee Arosha. Yeah, we just finished the finals. Tom Hankey, so if you got to rewind that just to see it. Roberto Mejia, rookie card. John Doherty, I will not be mad at you. Kevin Napier, Rod Beck, his regular card. Bernie Williams. And uh, another Darren Dalton. So we pulled three of these already. See, Rogers, you're going to get a bunch of those. And that was the last pack for C. Rogers. He got the top left and the top right stacks in this break. C. Rogers, I think you made, what, like the top five or six before you got eliminated. So we are going bottom left for C. Carpenter, our second place finisher. We are going bottom left. This is for C. Carpenter, Clint Carpenter here in the chat. Before we do, though, we are going to pull our next Lotteria card. The next Lotteria card is La Botella. In case you do not know about Lotteria and you are new to the channel, we are playing Lotteria for, let's see if I can find it here. This OBJ rookie card from Tops. Just email us abqscandc at gmail.com if you wish to play. We are still in the middle of playing, so uh, just got to give me a number between 1 and 10, and I will send you a picture of your Lotteria card. First one to black out or fill up all the spots on their card will win the OBJ. If there are more than one of you, then I do have a secondary card that we will give out as well. Our next Lotteria, and I've been bouncing this around. I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing. More than likely, this is what it's going to be. Oh, where did I put you? Our next Lotteria will be for a Vladdy Guerrero Jr., Silver Parallel Donner's Optic Rookie Card. And that will be after we do OBJ. So that should be fun. This card was La Botella. Mark your cards if you are playing. And the Lotteria, man, I used to play that game a bunch as a kid. It's basically just a uh, Hispanic version of um, Bingo, Steve Buschel, Joe Girardi. It does use, I believe, uh, like tarot cards. Joe Girardi. I thought I was going to jinx myself for sure yesterday at work. Um, some lady behind her had a, it looked like a bracelet that she had dropped. So I picked it up and I was like, hey, ma'am, is this yours? And it was like a beaded thing just full of skulls. <laughs> so I basically freaked myself out. I told everybody that if I died that night that you knew what happened. <laughs> but, yeah, it was just weird. Took it to lost and found. Passed the curse on to security. Ken Patterson, California Angels. The subset card is right here. That's the one that's usually sticking the most here. There we go. Brian Harvey and Omar Dahl again. We're starting to get some doubles, so hopefully we will find Ripken and all the other guys. Oh, this one was C. Rogers. Sorry. Put that with his stack. Before I forget that it was over there. Willie Blair. A checklist. 
Wait, looks like uh, John Crook on the back, maybe. Mike McFarlane. So yeah, that was fun. The wheel of names for uh, for that Frank Thomas. Congratulations to C. Elliott. Second place was you, Clint. So just let me know which one of the other cards you would like. It doesn't have to be right now. You can email me later, and I will send that out with your break. And uh, third place was Johnny Walchek. You will get your choice of whatever card Clint does not choose. The lottery it takes forever. It is fun, though. Um, it takes 16 spots to fill up a card. I think the closest anyone is right now is five or six spots that have been filled up. So there is still plenty of time to email us, enter, and pick a card. I keep banging this thing. I'm trying to fix it here. All right, here we go. Marquise Grissom looks like on the award winner's card. This stack is for C. Carpenter, Clint Carpenter. Second place in our Frank Thomas giveaway tonight. Jose Mesa, Mark Carrion. The back wants to go. Chuck McElroy, yes, yeah, so we're definitely getting cards again, so hopefully some good ones will be popping up for you guys. Kurt Manwaring, as I said, there are 300 cards in the set. We're pulling definitely more than 400 cards here. Bill Wirtz, rookie card. So hopefully we will find Maguire and Ripken and all those guys again. Jose Akendo, Ryan Thompson, New York Mets. Don't remember you, Ryan. Sorry, brother. Which one do you want to see again, brother? Oh, the three cards? All right, I'll show it after this pack. I think that's what you're talking about. Let me know for sure. Brad Osmus. Yeah, at, after this uh, pack here, I'll show the three cards. Wilson Alvarez. Daryl Kyle again. David Holsey. So, yeah, we're definitely starting to see some ones that we've seen before. Jose Bautista and the Mark Carrion. All right, so the three cards that you get your choice of. are either a Mason Rudolph Elite Series Rookies Gold Parallel, Kemba Walker Parallel Card, Wavy Parallel, or Reese Hoskins Rated Rookie. His uh, nickname card, Reese Lightning. Those are the three you get to choose from. And then uh, after you make your choice, like I said, it doesn't have to be right now. And then third place can pick from whatever's left. Getting about halfway down your stack. Right on, T-Unit. Thank you for being here. Um, sorry you didn't make it all the way through, but uh, we appreciate you being here. And uh, I'm surprised you, you like them all. All right, so we got Destrada again. Willie Wilson is uh, Johnny Walchek here. Johnny, are you in the chat? Maybe I'll just let you pick, and then I'll pick from whatever's left. Andrew Har, Cedeno. Tony Gwynn again. We got a Tony Gwynn card. Aaron Seeley, rookie card. You have a great night, T-Unit. Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully we will see you again. Appreciate you being here, and uh, we'll be looking to get you some cards as well. All right, brother? Mike Henneman. Greg Gagne, Billy Swift, Pat Kelly. Yeah, I had all those cards, and I was like, oh, that I want to make it. So here's the John Cruck one. We've been getting Darren Dalton, but here's John Cruck, the Philly subset that they had going on in this set. And uh, I wanted to make it something that is uh, how the channel is, and we do something different every week. So I wanted to reflect that. So, and I wanted to make them parallels or something um, awesome, so that it's not just like some random common card that we're giving away.
We got a Eduardo Perez. Rookie card for the Angels. A checklist card. Looks like a Roger Clemens coming up for you. Roger Clemens. It is a Roger Clemens. Roger Clemens, Boston Red Sox. This is your stack right here. This is the bottom left. This whole stack has been for you, sir. The award winners is the one that's sticking the most, but it's not making any major damage here. Yvonne Rodriguez, or any damage, actually. Ryan Bowen, Florida Marlins. Danny Darwin. Xavier Hernandez with the Astros. JT Snow again with the California Angels. Jose Offerman. Mark Newfield. Yeah, definitely some we've seen before. Steve Reed. Kevin Roberson. Chris Haney. Bob McDonald. And Luis Aquino. We got uh, five packs left for you on your bottom left. Jeff Montgomery, the Ultra Fireman Series. A Juan Gonzalez again for you. Brian Williams. Another Big Hurt card. Big Frank Thomas, Big Hurt. Andy Ashby. Jeff Kent. Mark Witten again. Kent Herbeck. Eric Plunk. Royce Clayton. So I've been getting some cards together for the 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, that, that's probably going to be a long way away. But uh, just trying to get some stuff together. That and the 500 are going to be uh, getting it up. Trying to make something really good of it. If I don't see your comments, it's because the phone I was looking on just died. So I'm going to try to give me one sec here to try to bring something else up. All right. So we got four stack, four packs left for Clint Carpenter here. I don't know if I can bring my own up. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I think it's going to bring it up. All right. Did I just mess this whole thing up? <laughs> no, we're still going. Okay. I thought maybe I messed it up by using my own phone, but we're still going. All right. Kenny Lofton. Jim Gott. Hey, bub. Will you take this to mom? Thank you. Renee Arosha. Oh, let's see. All right. Tom Henke with the trademark glasses. That's the first time we've seen a. Is that the first time we've seen a Henke card? Kenny Williams. Albert Bell. Pedro Astacio later went to the Rockies. And Mo Vaughn again. Subset Don Mattingly. So we found a Donnie baseball card for you. It is the subset of the top glove American League. Three packs left for you on this one. A 
Yeah, I had to pull up my phone, so I think it's dragging the internet. I'm just going to do it, turn it off, and hope that um, it's not. So I'm I'm probably just not going to be seeing the chat here. So I apologize if I'm not answering your stuff. Tony Phillips, um, if it helps keep the stream going, then uh, I will apologize now for not being able to see your chat. Another checklist. If I do lose you guys, once again, I apologize as my internet is horrible. Mike Ignaziak, Jeff Blauser, it died. It turned off because it's very barely has anything left. Joe Carter, this was post home run winning home run. Home run winning home run, that made no sense. Pete, Pete Inkelvikea, Ron Darling, his, uh, Game six winner to win the World Series for Joe Carter. Sandy Alomar Jr., I remember really liking him. I'm sure a lot of people were liking him back then, but he was him and his brother, Roberto, were just great, man. Darren Dalton, there's the Darren Dalton again, and Angel Miranda rookie card for the Brewers. Hopefully the picture quality is not as shaky here. We got Darren Lewis, Chris Hoyles, and Ken Hill. Ken Hill, oh, there's another one here. John Smiley, Cincinnati Reds cards. All right, two packs left. All right, so if I missed you on the chat there for a little bit, it's just because we were trying to find a phone for me to look at the chat on. Hey, we got a Cal Ripken for you. Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr. I am going to find a sleep for this one. Because this is one of the ones we were looking for. Cal cards were always awesome. Like I said, I was hooked on him for a while. Spent probably way too much money on him and Cecil Fielder. Uh, next week we are doing NFL Pro Set Series 1. Pro Set 91 was probably my favorite NFL card. And unbeknownst to me, it has the Bill Belichick rookie card, which recent PSA 10s are selling on eBay for over $100, somewhere close to like $150 to $170, which is just craziness for a coach card. Kevin Mitchell. Darren Fletcher, if the cards come out looking like this, then we are definitely going to find a PSA 10 because these cards, even though they are a little stuck together, they are coming out fantastic. Doug Henry, edges are sharp. Oh, not that one, maybe. <laughs> Tom Clavin. John Allerud floated, flirted with 400 there for a little bit. I think he got to like 380 or during the strike shortened season. Ben Rivera. Another Melito Perez. Steve Cook. Miguel Jimenez, rookie card. Ben McDonald again. And Willie Green, rookie card. And Marquise Grissom. All right. Last pack for... Clint Carpenter, our second place winner. Once again, congratulations to C. Elliott. C. Elliott, a veteran of our country. Your service was greatly appreciated along with anybody else on this channel that served. My, uh, my old man was in the Navy during peacetime between the, uh, the Vietnam War and the Korean War. Greg Jeffries. Roger Pavlik. Kent Bodenfield. Lou Whitaker. A lot of cards that we've seen already. Chris Gwynn. We found Cal Ripken Jr. We're hoping to find at least one more. Dave Burba. Paul O'Neill. Jason Bure. Second year card. For some reason, they really put an emphasis on the second year card. They got like a whole stamp and everything for it. 
Mike Piazza. There's Mike Piazza again. Very awesome. Mike Piazza, Dodger days. Get a sleeve for that one. So we're getting there. I think the only one we haven't found is Mark McGuire. I was telling C. Elliott, uh, we did, uh, I uh, also run New Mexico Bowling News here in uh, New Mexico. We host uh, fundraisers for charities. Our next one coming up is uh, for the Shriners Hospital, the local, sh local Shriners, Shriners Hospital. And then the month after that in October, we do one for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Uh, in December, we did one to send care packages to the troops. So we do a little bit of everything. Just try to, I guess, uh, show my appreciation to people that um, need the help as well. Plus, our guys overseas really uh, could use the support and stuff that a care package would help out with. So that was fun to do. Um, we got a big donation from our local VFW. All right, so that stack went to C. Carpenter. Those were all yours, brother. You got the Cal Ripken Jr. Let me show you one more time. Cal Ripken Jr. And Mike Piazza card. So those will be going out to you as, as, along with whatever card we are doing. Last stack is for game time sports cards and collectibles. Whenever there is one stack, at least one stack that is unsponsored, I like to give that to game time just uh, to show my appreciation to them for all that they have done for us, such as giving this Frank Thomas card. Um, he doesn't have to let us in his shop to do our uh, pack roulettes. Um, gives us good prices on the boxes, as well as cards such as this. He donated to my PC. I don't know if you've seen it before in the back here. That Shack Attack card. And that great price uh, for that Dwayne Haskins card back there. Uh, that was the sticker price. I don't believe that was the price that I paid for it. So, um, in one of our pack roulettes where we did the Origins breaking, he knows I love the Redskins, so he gave me this price love that we pulled out of it. He said, I could have it for myself, which was very awesome. He did not have to do that at all. So, very awesome of Jordan over at Game Time Sports Coaching Collectibles. We appreciate him greatly and that's why we try to get him at least one stack whenever we do not have a sponsor all right stack for jordan last stack of the night todd hunley pat hinken danny jackson now before we go on i want to show you the other card that i'm thinking of doing for the 250. i bought this the other day from Moonfish99. Where'd you go, card? I had it up here. Where'd it go? All right. If I, if I find that card, I'll show you. I don't know if I pulled it out here already or not. Oh, here it is. All right. So that card for the 250, one of them is going to be an Eloy Jimenez signed Donruss Optic rated rookie card. We got a long way to go to 250. I never thought we would get to 100, but we did. So uh, eventually when we get to 250, that will be one of the cards that we will be giving away. All right, moving on with Jordan Stack. We got Danny Jackson, Mike Bordick, Tom Kramer, rookie card. Seen him before. He looks like Wild Thing from the movie. That's hilarious. Joe Oliver, Jeff Passero, Brad Pennington, Paul Molitor, 
Chipper Jones. He gets the Chipper Jones rookie card. Chipper was hiding one stack away from, from Clint Carpenter here. Going to try to get him off without messing him up. I said these cards have been coming away pretty good. No, most times when they're like that, there's at least some paper loss. But at least from what I've seen, there have not been any on these cards. So Chipper Jones, like I said, I really like the picture on that card. Troy O'Leary, rookie card, ended up being with the Red Sox. I don't know if I mentioned that the first time we pulled his card. Winning a championship with them. Moises Alou. This back one's the one that's messing with stuff. All right, back one was Alan Mills again. Moises Alou and Larry Lubers, rookie card for Cincinnati Reds. Getting down to it here, folks. Phil Leftwich, Devon White, Ricky Jordan, Craig Pocket. So, yeah, tomorrow, probably about noon, mountain time. I believe that's 2 Eastern and 11 a.m. Pacific. I know it's football day, so if you got to catch us on the on the replay, I will not be mad at you. Dave Hollins, Solomon Torres, rookie card. First time seeing that one, I believe. Jeff Bagwell, there's another one here. Holds a little bit of value in this card. Blast Miner. Jimmy Key, his, remember him with the Blue Jays. Ricky Gutierrez, rookie card. He was with the Indians as well later on. Dave Winfield, there was another one. Still had a little bit of value. I think he was rounding out his career at that point. Arana boys. Welcome, brother. We did our Frank Thomas giveaway already. I don't know if you've been here for that. We did your giveaway. Damon Berryhill, first time seeing this card around. For your guys that uh, said they were here from the Spidey Den. John Jaha, John Cruck, Mike Timlin, Pack Roulette. He did have a couple packs that were like 20 bucks that had, I believe, at least a jersey relic in them. So I was thinking of just doing one pack, but I kind of like doing multiple packs. Jerry Spradlin. So I've been kind of debating on whether or not one pack or, uh, Keep doing what we're doing, the multiple packs. Lance Johnson. Mark McLemore. Like, it was a couple of the higher-end things that he had open boxes of that we knew there was definitely a hit in. Fred McGriff, but it would just be the one pack. So I only like to spend, like, maybe right around 20 bucks when I go in there to do the pack roulette. Kevin Reamer. Kevin Stalker. And Mark Grace is the award winner. Top Glove National League. So we'll see what happens on Wednesday. I'm still debating on which way to go. I think it was certified and some other one that was a football one. Uh, in case you missed it, we opened our hot box card the other day. There was not an open day between when we were doing our next video, and I really didn't want to wait as I really like the hot box cards. No, oh, dropping some here. We got Jim Layritz, first base and outfield for the Yankees. Wally Whitehurst. We got Terry Jorgensen, Dave Martinez. Some of these are sticking a little more than they were in the other packs. Luckily, these are Jordans. <laughs> it was your box, brother. All right, here we go. 
Todd Zeal. Uh, we are splitting the October fundraiser that we're doing for the New Mexico Bowling News. Jeff Schwartz between uh, nope, Doc Goodencard between the Susan G. Com Komen Foundation and uh, a little girl that has a special form of cancer. We made uh, my my wife made shirts for them. It says fight like a kid. Shirts came out looking really good. Um, they ordered some, like five or six, and everybody saw what they look like. And now we got another huge order that we'll be taking care of this week. The little girl designed the shirts herself. Tim Mauser. And uh, I think they came out looking pretty good. All right, here we go. The last one is stuck. It's probably got to be the... Yeah. Greg Maddox. Oh, no, Greg McMichael. Get out of here with that, Greg Maddox. It looked like Maddox at first. Greg McMichael, 8 out of 10. Another second-year card there. So I couldn't tell, Arana boys. Did you actually win anything on that uh, Grumpy Cat one? I know you were doing scratchers with the Grumpy Cat, but I couldn't tell if you had actually won on them or not. Another award winners looks like uh, Robbie Thompson, Top Glove National League. Dante Bichette, Bo Bichette's dad. Bo Bichette had like an 11-game hit streak to start his major league career. Gary Sheffield, his pre-routine bat swing routine was a thing to behold. Jeff Montgomery. Somebody here, uh, I believe it's uh, Jock Peterson. His last like 11 at bats, he's either had homers or doubles. It's been insane with Jock Peterson here lately. Jeff Russell, Travis Ryman. Ah, <laughs> four dollars. Oh yeah, you did forget the blaster. That's cool. That's cool. Corey Snyder. Never liked him. I don't know why. He came to the Dodgers. I was like, no, why are we getting him? Ted Power. Bob Hamlin. Rod Correa. Rookie card. San Diego Padres. Another Pudge card. Yvonne Rodriguez. Texas Rangers. Jeff Gardner. Rookie card. Eric Anthony. In case you missed it, we are going through 94 Fleer Ultra. Alex Fernandez. I wanted to kind of coincide 94 with our 94 card of Frank Thomas. So it worked out. Congratulations once again to C. Elliott on winning that card. In case you just joined us. Spoiler alert. All right, getting down to the last few packs of this box. After this one, we got three packs left. Don Slot. I always would confuse him, especially when they were on the Yankees together. I would always confuse this guy and Don Mattingly. There he is, Mark McGuire. Look at this slender guy with the Oakland Athletics. Going to find a sleeve for this one once I get it out of here. There we go. That came out really good. Going to find a sleeve real quick for this one. Mark McGuire was another one that was okay in this set, at least according to Trading Card Database. Cardboard Connection, Trading Card Database. I try to look up the stuff before we do it just uh, so we have an idea of what we're looking for. A lot of it hasn't been updated in a while. But. All right, Reggie Sanders. And with eBay, like, you never know. The prices are all over the place on there. It just, if it, like, if you catch somebody who, or a few people who really want that card at the right time, it could skyrocket like that. Jay Sternberger ended up going for $28 that we pulled out of a um, value pack. The Debo Origins dual relic auto that we pulled went for like 20 something as well. 
So it just depends on who's on there at the right time when you were putting it on there. Jamie Moyer, Deion Sanders, two sport athlete, him and Bo were the premier ones in the early 90s. Graham Lloyd, nobody's really doing it now as uh, most teams do not want to have to deal with what they did with Dion and Bo. Mickey Morandini, Dave Stewart again. Looks like Kenny Lofton one more time, along with Bob Welsh. And league leader card, stolen bases, Chuck Carr. And the other side of Kenny Lofton is Bob Natal, Florida Marlins. Three packs left in the box of 1994 Fleer Ultra. So, yeah, that was fun. We, uh, Eliminated names as we went. Mark Lemke sliding into a base here. Jose Vizcaino. Brian Jordan, one of the other two sport athletes of that era. Rich Amaral. These cards, man, bring back a lot, a lot of memories. I think this was the strike year, 94. I was really into baseball at the time, and I think this was one of the last years that I was collecting as the strike really hurt my feelings, I guess. Todd Worrell was really mad at baseball for doing that and uh, kind of left it for a while. Dave Fleming, I still kept track of who was in the World Series and who was in the playoffs, but um, never until like 2006, I never really kept track of it the way I did back in 94, or pre-94. Chris Turner, rookie card. Like the Maguire Sosa race brought a lot of people back. Eric Young before uh, before that, but for me it was like 2005, 2006 before I really, really got back into it. Richie Lewis, uh, Chris Gomez rookie card. Another one of my favorite movies is Tin Cup. Really love that movie for some reason. Kevin Costner and Rene Russo. I guess it was just Rene Russo for me, probably. Game winners, Matt Williams, as she was also in Major League. So, uh, we watched Spaceballs the other day. That movie is timeless, along with Back to the Future. You can watch those. And yeah, Back to the Future gets dated with all the 80s stuff, but Spaceballs, man, really holds up. John Cuck, it reminded me of how awesome that movie is. Joseas Manz Manzanillo, Richard Batchelor, rookie card, Willie Banks. Really sticking here. Felix Fermin. Barry Bonds again, another Barry Bonds. This one's for Jordan at Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles. San Francisco Giants, Barry Bonds. Mike Morgan. Kenny Rogers. Yeah, we were having some trouble with the with the lighting, but uh, I think we pushed through it a little bit just because normally most of my videos are done on my phone. Uh, the live ones right now I have to do on my laptop until we find a better a better webcam to use, I suppose. Um, once we hit a thousand, which is a long way away, we will be able to start using our phone for the live streams. Mike Perez and Eddie Gardado. Gerardo. Last pack of the box. 92 Fleer Ultra tomorrow. Since it is football, I will probably just do a video of that one just so the picture is a little better for you guys. Ken Griffey Jr. got another junior card on this one. Going to sleeve that one up real quick just in case.
All right. Ken Griffey Jr., Phil Leftwich, Todd Hunley, Chuck Carr, Greg Hibbard. You can't use your phone to go live yet. What happened? Pat Mears, Luis Gonzalez. Yeah, if you don't mind. Thank you. Luis Gonzalez, Scott Sanders. FDC Family Cards, how you doing? Brett Barbary, is it just like a lapse thing or? Young Frankenstein. Mike Blowers, Tino Martinez, Mike Butcher, Joe Orslag, and last card of the box, I think there's no, yep, last card of the box, J Bell, I believe is what this is, J Bell. Top Glove National League. That was the bottom right for our sponsor, Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles. Once again, congratulations to C. Elliott, winner of the Statistical Standouts, Frank Thomas, on-card autograph, 540 out of 994 from Leaf94, generously donated by Game Time Sports Cards and Collectibles. We'll get that out to you very shortly here, sir. I do have some other stuff that I have going out to you. Um, once again, we want to thank all our sponsors, C. Rogers, C. Carpenter, and Game Time. Yeah, every time I try to go on mine, it says I need at least 1,000, and I'm not authorized yet. So hopefully pretty soon it'll let you do it. Maybe it's just a delay thing. A lot of time with the revenue as well, it says it's more than like 48 hours delayed. So that might be what's going on with it. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, 92 Fleer Ultra. Then we are back to football. 91 Pro Set Series 1. Platinum for the same year. And Prominence 2013. Just want to show everybody again the Prominence box. There are three packs per box. One, two, three. Five cards in each box. I've seen these cards going, or these... Box is going for like 120 bucks. We are only selling each one for 15. One of these boxes is already spoken for. So we still have two others to go through. Uh, hot box cards said that uh, his didn't go so well, but we were hoping ours is going to be awesome. Like I said, we've done the prestige box. I'll show you the box. I've done two of these. The first one, we got a seventh rounder and an undrafted rookie. The second box, we got a first rounder, so it could go either way. They're all rookies, so nobody knows when they're doing them. Uh, once again, we want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, we got to 100, and our next one will, our next big giveaway will be at 250. Don't know how long it's going to take us to get there, but we will be here. We will be breaking cards. We will be opening stuff up and trying to get great stuff to you. If you are still around. We'll do a will of names next week for anybody who comments that they want the third card. If you want the third card, two of these are spoken for from the second and the third place winner. But there is one extra. So if you want the one that's extra, just comment that, that you want the extra card. And in a week, we will do a will of names for everybody that is left. Just in my appreciation for everybody that stuck around through the whole thing. Um, you guys are family to me now, so you are part of the ABQ family. We thank you for being here. Hopefully we will see you guys tomorrow and later on. Once again, congratulations, C. Elliot. And you guys have a great night. Stay safe. Say bye, Davey. Bye. <laughs> have a great night, guys. We'll see you again later. Gonna try to end the stream here. Once again, have a great night. Stay safe. And.